happy Friday! Today is Friday, guys. So, yun. Curly is already at work. So, yun. Nakali. And, ang agaga kong naligo kasi I have a video to do today. So, yun. Yun yung gagawin ko mumaya. Meron akong i-react na video kung ewan ko lang kung ibabas uh, to any one of you who watch like uh, trending or whatever going on social media nowadays that about this passport bro ewan ko lang kung uh, any one of you knows about this guys kung napanood nyo na they are everywhere especially on tiktok that there is some western woman uh, not all of them I'm not generalized of them like how they do they mention Philippines so in but bros, like they're getting women from like the DR, Colombia, yes. uh, the Philippines, Thailand. Mm -hmm. Like women can that can speak very little English. Women that don't have and, education. And not, women that well, that need what, them. So, I mean, guys, we're going. I'm going to start now. So, I'm just going to react to the video that I watch, um, going on social social media, especially on TikTok here on YouTube. This is about the passport, bro issues actually this issue is just ongoing on america um the problem of this men and women in america only so yeah this passport bro guys uh sa mga, sa na, napansin ko at nabasa ko it's just this all about men stuff going to other country especially to asia to find their wives so you guys and this is all ongoing and it's like alarming already so yun. so i don't i actually this is i don't mind about the issue because that their issue <clears throat> what i'm what i'm trying to um react here about the there's some ladies in America who drop our country, Philippines, including to all the Asia and the, their men coming out to find wives. It's like if you hear their message or their video about us, Filipina, you're really gonna be so angry and you're it's really below the belt. It's like they're being racist to us. Asia especially to the Filipino women and it's like they really generalize that all women in the Philippines is like this like that that the woman in the Philippines doesn't have education um, only want money from the foreigners or the other countries they shouldn't include us to their problem because the third problem to their men going to our countries and to asian countries they shouldn't mention about filipino is poor filipino is um no education and we just want this men so we can out of our property or to i don't know Mawala tayo sa kahirapan ng ganun. Which is very below the belt, guys. Like that. I get hurt as a Filipina. And as a, as a partner, a foreign partner. So, yun. I was hurt. And I was like, oh my gosh. They're so mean to us. They're being so racist to us. And this lady's never been in Philippines. And never been to other country. They just stay in, the, in America. So how, why they, why they say something bad to these Asian ladies, especially in Philippines, we, that we are like this. Even they never know, they never met Filipina yet. So you guys, I was hurt, but I realized why we get hurt if we know to ourselves that we are not like that. We know that we can speak English, we have education, and yes, maybe we are not rich or we are we are poor unlike them. So what? We're, we don't hide that. 
We never say that we are rich. We know that we are poor. But still, we have a smile in our face. We appreciate everything in our life. We still do good things to add to others. We don't bring other people down to look ourselves higher. We are Filipino. We are we are like that. We don't bring down other people. We don't say bad things to other country. We don't say something. Even we see that they're doing bad to us, but we still silent because we are Filipino. We are like that. We don't need to say something just to look ourselves better than them. So that's what I like about being a Filipino and being proud of it. So you guys, it's just so sad what's happening on our surrounding right now. It's like very vocal to how they say to their to other people bad things to hurt their feelings, just to lift up their own self. You know, it's just so sad. And when they say that Filipino don't know how to speak English. I just I was laughing. I know I'm not good in English. My English is not flowing. It's not good in saying to other Filipino. But there's a lot of Filipino who speak better English. They're really good in English. And to those Filipino that know English a little bit like me, I'm proud of it. At least I can communicate. I can understand what they say. If they were go to other country, we can speak English to those people who speak English. How about them when they go to our country? They do speak Tagalog, they do speak Bisaya, Elongo or whatever. They don't. We are the one who we are the one who um speak in English just just for them to understand us. Make sense? So you guys all the things that they say to the Filipino is they don't know that they say that they don't know because they don't know Filipino and they don't there's might be some Filipino like them also that being bad or doing stuff like what they do but just that's few and also in America there's a lot of mother uh, sister um, daughter that is good they're a good wife they're a good um mother or they're good wife to their husband which is covered because of this some ladies talking about us filipino so you guys it's just so um crazy that they are it's easy to them to say to other race like that to say hey they, they just they just go to this country because blah 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 and yes we are asian or filipino we're not idiot we know who will choose we know guys that is only a predator or whatever we know that we don't choose them too we're not idiot like what you think like what you think to us because they said oh there's some this um, man is just going going to the country because to other country to manipulate the ladies or blah blah blah. I guess this these guys it's not all of them. Maybe there's some few too. There is, but we Filipino we are not idiot to choose these predator people. We are not idiot like what you think. Oh yeah. Ouch. Soon guys. By the way. I just want to have a message to my co-Pilipina, co-Asian ladies. Let's just be who we are, ladies. Especially in Philippines, to my co-Pilipina. We know who we are. And let's stay who we are, guys. We are, no, we are not perfect, but we still have a lot of time to change our self and be a better wife or a partner to our partners. Let's be the same. Let's not change. This kind of woman, we don't need them. We don't need their opinion. They, we don't need. We don't need to be affected to their what they say to all about us. 
let's just continue what we are doing we are loving caring supportive and we're and we need men to our life and do the same as men we need they need us so let's just choose a man that is really good for us and um not going to hurt at or whatever you i think you will know that guys you will know that we are not um stupid ladies or stupid asian to choose and don't worry because there's also a lot of guys um especially this man that has a filipina partner they also good because they also stand up and speak up for our behalf so i really appreciate those guys and they know how we are as filipina as partner or asian so confident and being a filipina and a good partner to our foreigner partners and don't we don't need to listen to those women talking something about us we don't need to be affected because there are some people know who we really are and especially our partners so sometimes if you have to choose being right and being kind always choose being kind I'm sure that some of this lady is really have a bad experience to their partner that's that's why they're talking about this but we cannot generalize everybody and we cannot spread the news or what happened to you in a bad way instead you should use that in a good way to get advice and awareness to other ladies to be careful to um to date this kind of people to, to this kind of guys that's the only should they do not to generalize and talk to other country to asian the things like what they say so we cannot blame some of them because they really experience those things the problem is they just they just spread it and talk negatively and some gen some new generation thought that all this man is like that so that's the problem nowadays you know so what can i say to all of them is like we're sorry if some of you experience those things and i hope uh you find peace and you find a man that will really gonna love you but and just tell to other generation to be careful that's the only thing that you can give but you cannot tell them to all of the men is like this like that because not all not all of the men is like that there's still a really good men that also looking love like you looking for someone to respect them someone to love them and to be with them for the rest of their lives so it's just all the same so we cannot tell and generalize everyone and good because of what happened to you it's also gonna happen to the other women that's not because everybody is beautiful and unique on their own ways what happened to you it might be not gonna happen to them if you don't tell them hey you have to be careful choosing this kind of guys you know that's that's more better information or more more good message rather than saying all the men is like this this other country is like this they're going to be going there to manipulate women and whatever whatsoever we shouldn't tell that to the new generation or to other women instead we should tell them you have to be careful and choose wisely that's it you really need to talk and bring down other race or other countries because you know of what you feel and if you're angry and if you're <clears throat> if you're hurt we shouldn't tell what we feel to just let our angriness you know because sometimes our emotions on the day that we speak is really different 
so it's but if ever you're mad you can just say that to your to your friend to your kin to other to your family but you cannot say that online and talk about this thing because you might not know in this day in that your emotion is not really you're angry you can say different things or you say things that it's not it's not meant to be that you say you know so you know guys so to my co-Pilipinas what I'm gonna advise to you is especially to this Pilipina na gusto ding magka-afam kasi diba hindi lang porket also eh kukuha na din tayo ng kahit sino-sino na lang or kahit sino na lang diba patulan natin we still need to choose wisely we still need to know the person first get to know him you don't be shy or scared to ask question or information about him because that's natural that's this this person is outside your country and you know this person you don't be shy to ask information about this person because if he's really interested to you he will do everything the man that really interested to you guys they will jump straight away just to meet you and introduce you to everybody that he loves because i experienced that before i, before I meet craig i've been i have a american chatmate and canadian chatmate before i never meet i never meet those guys i just talk to them in online and you know it's really different compared to craig um when i and actually i was like he's my boyfriend for one year in online this american guy and what can i say is it's really different guys i'm not telling all american is like this but this guy that i i've been dating online is he is the one that he likes he likes that you're the one who uh like um what do you call this one is doing the the move first to you know it's like i don't know how to explain so i really did i really and when we're when i was chatting to him i was like so confused is it really likes he really likes me or what or what like this like that and i try to tell him when you're going to introduce me to your family because we've been like talking and dating online for a year already and he said if we met in person already then we can i can introduce you to my family like this but when we're doing a video call her his dad or his sister is already there and like but still not not telling the talking to me he's not talking he's just doing the video call but it's not it's not telling that it's not it's that obvious that he's talking to someone so i feel like oh well, it's like you know the feeling it's like it's like that i don't know so and and then on the canadian guy we've been talking for like months maybe four or five months something like that i'm not sure anymore so these guys i i just talk to them when i don't meet yet Craig. so yeah so i'm just telling you what's the difference so yeah guys and then this canadian guys at least this canadian guy he introduced me to his friends some of his friends every time we do video call he introduced me to his friends you know but not to his family which is i think at least a little bit okay but still i can still feel like oh it's like it's still a lot of question in my in my mind in my heart like why it's like is he not proud of me to introduce to his family these two guys and you know it's like because it's that was ldr so you know it's like you're looking for sign ba na kung kung interesado ba talaga sa you if he's really interested to me or you know or not so in guys so those those guys i break up break up to after the american guy 
were talking for one year when I was still in Hong Kong that time. So yun guys, nag break up, nag break up ako sa kanya kasi she, basta it's like it's not it's not it's not um I'm not confident enough that we're gonna be you know and he's the one is telling me you come in uh, in America and he doesn't have a plan to come here in Philippines first he want me to go and meet him first so yun guys sabi ko that's so difficult you know I know how difficult going to America especially if you both it's not we did not met yet in person so I know that it's not so if I'm the one who gonna do the part to go to meet him it's like I'm the one who's you know it's just so hard for me to go to his country because I have to get the visa or whatever and if, unlike if he's the one who's gonna come it's just easy for him so you guys and then the Canadian one that was like uh, also pandemic before I met Craig so you guys that one is he's an he's a nice guy he's a little bit older than Craig He's a nice guy, you know, but that's the problem. But what I'm um, thinking that time is he also cannot introduce me to his family. And I feel like, what the heck is this? And then it's, I've, I'm not feel comfortable. I'm not feel, yung hindi rin ako, I'm not confident enough also na if we're gonna work together like that. But even he's planning to come to Philippines. So... I also break up with him and that guy yeah I break up with him also but these two guys I never met them in person guys so I just talked to them online then when Craig um, come to my life and then when when we're talking it's just like I don't know if it's one one week or two weeks when we still talking and he introduced me to his family straight away it's like to his kid to his mom to his brother you know he really introduced me we're not even meeting in person yet it's like hey um i met someone online and she's from philippines and i want you to know especially to his kids he really introduced me straight away to them and that's the different like oh wow it's like it's so new to me that he introduced me I feel like that's a very big check for me you know because he's so proud to um, tell to his family that I'm he met me online and he wants to meet me in person you know because we even it's in the online we know that if we can find a uh, guy that we can be feel con uh, confident that we're gonna be okay we're not thinking just for gaming me when i'm looking online relationship i'm not into game really i'm not into like ah, just this is just for fun no i want to be in a relationship that is serious that this man will gonna come to philippines and meet me and then maybe afterwards then I'm going to his country to meet his family too. That's what I'm looking. I'm not looking for fun on, uh, on, online, online dating because you know I before I like to watch this uh foreigner in Filipina YouTubers like this. So I am. I said I want to have like that also. I want to help to find a guy like that also will be serious and you know. So that's what I'm looking. That's why. I was so lucky and I'm so confident since the day that I met Craig. He sh he showed me how he is serious. He showed me that he's really into me. He want to meet me. He want to know me more. So when we're chatting, he question a lot. He Even I don't ask him. He's the one who tell you that just to let me know that hey i'm like this i'm like this i'm like that i'm i'm been single for when i met greg he's not yet divorced that time he's not divorced yet but when he came to philippines straight away he was applying his divorce to his ex so you know and my his divorce granted when my visa coming to 
coming to Australia is also granted. So it's like blessings to us that day. It's both July 8th, July 8th, I think. Yeah, July 8th, his um, divorce was granted and my visa was granted. So for me, it's like a blessing from the Lord that we are really meant to each other. So you yeah, guys. So yeah, to all the <coughs> sa mga Pilipina na gusto ding mag magkahanap ng partner uh partner partners, you should be careful choosing a guy. You should be um know the guy first. Not just because you want to have a foreign partner or foreign boyfriend, you just choose whoever is it even you don't know this person yet my advice to you guys is you really need to know him first and he should uh let you know him too his background everything research you ask question to him th that don't worry about it if he's really interested to you he will tell you so that's my that's my advice to you guys and to all the my advice to all foreigner guy that coming to Philippines to find a Filipina, please, if you are a player or whatever, please don't bring to Philippines and date one, two, three, four, five girls in Philippines because I know some of the Filipina is there's some Filipina that is also not nice, not looking for a serious relationship. So you guys also have to choose a Filipina that is the same as you that looking for a serious relationship the same to those of you that just want to go to Filipina to to Philippines to just play or whatever play around please don't do that don't bring that to the Philippines if you're doing that to your country please don't do, don't don't do that to the Filipino because most of the Filipino women is looking for a serious relationship and looking for a partner for their life to be together so i think i think both uh women and men be careful choosing whoever people you choose whoever wherever country you going to have and looking for your partner you have to choose carefully both of both be both women and men you have to be careful choosing it because like what i said i'm not saying all of them is good all of them is bad i'm not saying that i'm saying there is some that is also not good to other country or in philippines so you have to choose wisely that's what i can say so you link guys and yeah that's my my message and reaction to the video that i've been watching so you know guys.